G'day, welcome back. In this short video, we're gonna make a Tinkercad design that we end up preparing for a laser cutting. And I'll show you the steps that only take a few minutes to get from Tinkercad to our laser cutting software. Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is create a very simple design using uh, some hexagons. I'm gonna go from top view down. And so we'll get started like this. We're gonna actually use the Control D tool or the duplicate tool, press Control D. It allows you to duplicate an item and then move it to a position and then it'll actually replicate that action. So it makes it nice and easy to work with there. I actually make these just a little bit bigger. And actually, if you hold down shift, it keeps the ratio as well. Just make them slightly bigger like that. Then we'll press Control D again and move them over again. And this time pop them up. And we might do that one more time. bring it over just like so. All right, we could obviously be more precise with that, but we're happy with that for the moment. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure this actually intersects the horizontal plane. So if you see nice and close, it's intersecting. Because when we create a laser cutting file, it's gonna create a sketch around each of these shapes. See what that looks like in just a second, but you can see here they're intersecting the horizontal. Click on export, select uh, SVG for laser cutting, and we'll have our file appear down here. Now we're gonna actually bring this into a next software called Inkscape. You might be using Adobe Illustrator. It should work on the same principle. So we'll go back here. I'll just drag this into Inkscape and this pops up, press okay. And you can see we've got our file there. It's a bit bigger than our current uh, document here. So I'm just gonna make it smaller. I'll make sure this button's clicked so that when I do drag it from the corners, it keeps that same ratio. This isn't gonna be a big laser cut, um, just showing you the process we can go through. Go from here to there, awesome. At the moment you can't see it because the thickness of our line is too small, which is actually a good thing, but you can actually see our file here, correct red color, 255 red. That's important for our laser to cut it to recognize that it's gonna cut. But actually I can see that's gonna work. I just need to make it 0.001 millimeters or pixels. They should both do the job. Next step, if you're with me still, we're gonna save this as a PDF. Save it as test three, I've had a few tests before, and this should save us a PDF. So right there, test three. Awesome, pops up like this, just click okay. And I will open that PDF. Uh, downloads, bring it over. And we're gonna open test three. There we go. We can see our PDF has those red lines, which looks good, means it's ready to cut. One last thing we need to do is click on file, print. And this is a point where you need to select your 3D printing uh, software that's gonna to connect to your 3D printer. So here I've got my VLS 3.50. Make sure it's on actual size. If I wanted to make it bigger, I could customize it. I could make it 200. And let's see if that works right there. Open up my 3D printing software, and this is ready to print. Now, depending on what material you're gonna use, you can click on settings and choose those settings there. I can test out how long it's gonna go, depending on the material as well. And um, we can do a few other things, depending on the software you have. But that's a process from getting tink from Tinkercad to your 3D or your laser cutting software. Um, if that helps, let me know. If you need some extra help, feel free to comment below as well. Good luck.